it's going to start recording that. So you're going to end up with two videos at the end of this that I'll be able to show you. So type admin name, whatever the lineup administrator's name is, you are able to put that there. Uh, the location of the lineup, so wherever you're actually physically conducting the lineup, that's what goes here. It defaults to whatever your uh, police department's name is or whatever you save into the software mm -hmm. as, as that uh, piece of information will be there. If you need to put an address in, it gives you additional lines to put that in there. I'm going to click begin lineup and ask you, are you the administrator of this photo lineup? So obviously, yes or no <laughs> questions here all at the bottom. I'm going to click, yes, I'm the administrator. The independent administrator of this photo lineup should not have participated in an investigation of the crime being investigated and should be unaware of the identity of the suspect and the placement of the suspect in the lineup. So you have to acknowledge that. All of this, remember, is being recorded, audio, video, and the screen. Have you participated in the investigation of the crime being investigated? I'm going to say no. Do you know the identity of the suspect? No. Position of the suspect in this lineup will be randomly selected by the computer program. So those pictures that we originally loaded into the application, behind the scenes, it random, completely randomizes every single one of those pictures. So no, no human could possibly know what order they're going to be presented. And I agree. And at this point, the administrator is done with their questions. Recording of the video has stopped at this point because we don't have confirmation yet that the witness wants to be recorded. At this point, the screen and audio is still being recorded, so it does give you a prompt saying this, is, this part of the process is still happening. Click, the, so when, when the administrator is done loading it, then you get the witness seated and it gives you all the instructions on screen. And I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says, you know, start up when the administrator can't see the screen. The administrator is not allowed to see the lineup on a computer when they're doing a lineup. And also, I don't know if Jeff mentioned, but that's, that's going to be your logo, your department's logo on the upper right. Right. So I'll that one time, and then your program. So we'll pretend now that I'm the witness seated here about to view this lineup. They click Start Lineup. They're presented with a question whether they want to see this in English or Spanish. And if they choose Spanish, it'll actually be displaying English and Spanish simultaneously. So with the video that's presented, you'll be able to see both. Um, I'll actually select that option. So is your name correctly entered below? Has it in Spanish as well? Shows the test witness name that I entered earlier. We'll say, sure, that's correct. Are you prepared to view this lineup? Yes. Do you agree to participate in this lineup? Understanding the person's in this lineup and you are being recorded for the purpose of accurately documenting all of your statements. If they answer yes here, it's going to turn back on the webcam on this computer and start recording, once again, audio and video of that witness from this point on. And? If it refuses to be recorded, can you still use the program? Absolutely. Gonna that, we're going to do that on the next run through, all right? He asked if, if they refuse to record, what, what happens? We're going to run through that scenario on the next go around. Just to give you guys some idea of all this stuff. <clears throat> so, so we're on the question, do you understand the perpetrator of the crime may or may not be presented in this lineup? So I'm going to say yes. Do you understand the administrator of this lineup does not know the suspected perpetrator's identity? Yes. Do you understand so, that you should... a couple no's in there, Jeff. Just sure. So Do you understand that you should not feel compelled to make an identification? I'll say no. And that says you should not feel compelled to make an identification. Click continue to proceed with the lineup. Okay, continue. And you're back to the so same the question. Go until they acknowledge that they understand the law. Click yes on this one now to proceed. Do you understand that it's as important to exclude innocent persons as it is to identify a perpetrator? So if I could do no again, it'd go through that same path. It makes you confirm that you understand the question. Once again, the top line's English, bottom line Spanish if you can't see it all the way in the back. Do you understand the investigation will continue regardless of whether an identification is made? Yes. And here's where it presents the question. Would you prefer to see the photos at the same time or one at a time? And at the bottom, you have two options, at the same time simultaneous or one at a time sequential. I'm going to hit at the same time simultaneous for this uh, selection. I'll show you the, the other option next. And here's where you're presented with the six randomly assigned suspect photos. So all these numbers are completely randomly assigned to these pictures. 
There's no way that anyone could decide which one the suspect truly is by the number. It all happens behind the scenes and happens completely automatically. So once you've reviewed the pictures and say they can make an identification, they'll click continue. Ask you, are you able to identify the perpetrator from this lineup? I'm going to say yes. Ask you, please indicate which number. I'm going to pick number two. Click identify suspect. Gives you a prompt saying, is this the suspect you're identifying with the picture? If they hit no, you're right back to here. They're looking at the pictures again, but we'll say identify suspect. Yes, that's the guy. Do you wish to include a comment as to the identification? We'll say yes here. Pops up a field that lets them type whatever they want in here, which will end up on the end report. Click continue. Or if the is saying anything, it's being reported. Right, everything's being audio and video recorded and the screen. You'll actually